What's up guys, it's the exclusive here, and today I'm going to be reviewing the game Psychonauts 2 on the Xbox family of consoles. This is actually going to be my, my first review of many, so I hope you guys enjoy, and let me know what you think in the comments below, along with any other games you would like to see me review or play through. Psychonauts 2 released on the Xbox One and Xbox Series family of consoles on August 25th, 2021, with a price tag of $59.99 US dollars, and is currently available to play through the Xbox Game Pass service. This game was developed by Double Fine Productions and published by Xbox Game Studios. Psychonauts 2 is a third-person platformer that picks up after the conclusion of Psychonauts in the Rhombus of Ruin, the VR game that came out in 2017, after Raz and his crew rescue Truman Zanotto, the current leader of the Psychonauts. Directly after the rescue, the team of psychic warriors head back to the Psychonaut headquarters to regroup and begin their investigation into who hired Dr. Lobato to kidnap Truman in the first place. Raz is met with some confusion after he's placed into the Psychonauts intern program, as he was always under the impression that he has been a real member of the Psychonauts this whole time, ever since the end of the first game. Raz feels like something is amiss within the Psychonauts organization after he notices that Truman's second-in-command, Hollis Forsyth, who recently took over after his disappearance, starts to act a little strange. It seems that Hollis is more interested in researching more unorthodox studies such as necromancy over the usual peacekeeping efforts. It's up to Raz to investigate what Hollis is truly up to while also continuing to aid the Psychonauts with investigating who was behind Truman's kidnapping. With the knowledge that there may be a mole within the organization, Raz becomes quite suspicious of Hollis and becomes determined to find out what exactly is going on behind the scenes. It immediately becomes clear to Raz that he must do whatever it takes to journey through the minds of his friends and some of the other members of the Psychonauts in order to get to the bottom of this strange turn of events. So this game actually follows in the same footsteps as the first game in terms of gameplay, but modernizes a lot of the systems, along with tightening the platforming that made the original great. Just like the first game, Psychonauts 2 is a third-person platformer where the player controls Raz, a newly graduated Psychonaut with powerful psychic abilities. Unlike the first game, which started you off a little slower since Raz was not yet a full-fledged Psychonaut, this game jumps right into the thick of things by granting the player with four Psy powers, Telekinesis, Psy Blast, Pyrokinesis, and Levitation really early on in the game. The player has to use these powers, along with others that Raz, Raz learns throughout the game, to aid in his quest to figure out who was or is pulling all the strings behind Truman's kidnapping. The powers are much more fleshed out this time around thanks to modern game design along with experience that Double Fine has gained over the years. The gameplay mechanics along with the level design felt already pretty damn awesome with the first game, but what's on display here feels truly amazing. As for the achievements in this game, there is a lot of variety here, and most of the achievements are what you would expect from a game like this when it comes to open world games. You have your fair share of story-related achievements, but you also have achievements that revolve around using Raz's psychic powers in various and creative ways, along with achievements that are related to Raz's progression, objective completions, and collectibles. The game does allow you to revisit all the levels and open world areas once you beat the game, so none of the achievements are missable. Overall, I really think that this game is probably one of my personal contenders for Game of the Year for 2021. This game takes everything that made the first game great and turns it up to 11. All the gameplay elements and features have been extensively approved upon from the OG game, and I could also tell that Double Fine's other games since the release of Psychonauts 1 have also been a really good learning experience for that team, which has allowed this game to thrive and look and feel and play even better. I love the tight controls and how combat felt especially with the mixture of the various powers that Raz has at his disposal. But really what made this game shine was the level design and the characters. The story and its characters were amazingly well, keeping me interested all throughout and wanting to unravel the big mystery revolving around Truman's kidnapping, along with what else was going on behind the scenes at the Psychonauts HQ. The levels really ended up stealing the show, as each level was so different and unique while also showing very different creative aspects, everything from the layout to the art design of each. For example, the dark cr and creepy nature of Lobato's Labyrinth was a stark contrast to the very colorful and psychedelic style of the Psy King Sensorium level. What's even more endearing is the emphasis and spotlight this game places on mental health. It's not often that you get games that place an importance on the awareness of such sensitive and important subjects, which is great for everyone in the grand scheme of things. With that being said, I personally feel that this game is definitely worth checking out and even purchasing as it feels like it's a game that will always be worth going back to. I'm always behind the idea of supporting devs like Double, Double Fine, who make cr very creative and unique experiences that practically anyone can enjoy. Even though in my personal opinion this game doesn't offer much in terms of replayability, what's there should leave everyone 
playing through uh, feeling satisfied and like their time was well spent. Also, don't forget that this game is currently available on Xbox Game Pass and probably will stay on the servers for the foreseeable future. So there is no reason you should miss out on this awesome experience whether you're on Xbox or PC. If you've enjoyed this review, please feel free to like, comment, subscribe, and check out the rest of the content on my channel, which includes a full playthrough of this game. As always, thanks for watching and keep slaying those achievements. This has been Slayer Exclusive bringing you my very first game review, and I hope to get, catch you guys in the next video. Have a good one.